In this problem, we have a cart that's holding a plate. The cart is given an acceleration and we're asked to find what is the um, acceleration and the um, forces, reaction forces at P um, from this acceleration um, of the system. So the first thing we do is we draw a free body diagram of the plate. Um, and then we're going to analyze the plate. So this plate we know is going to have a um, force due to gravity, and then there's going to be a reaction forces over here. Um, and then the whole system is also going to have an angular acceleration um, due to um, that acceleration A over here. So let's draw our free body diagram uh, neatly. So this is our plate, I'm going to draw it a bit bigger. Uh, and the center of gravity is located at the center here. Um, so we're going to draw our first force, which is the force due to gravity, which points downwards, and we're going to call this Fg. Um, and then we have our reaction forces um, of point P. So we're going to call these Ax and Ay. Uh, a x and a y and I just assumed a direction and if we got a negative number they'll be in the opposite direction and then for the uh, kinetic diagram we are going to have um, an acceleration of the cart um, which directly transfers to a linear acceleration of point P and then an angular acceleration of the system uh, alpha Okay, and I'm also going to draw in my reference system to the right here. So uh, to the left, x is positive to the right, y is positive up, and the rotation is positive in the counterclockwise direction. So the first thing we do is we are going to we're going to do a sum of forces in x, the y, and then a sum of moments um, just to get the three first three equations. So. Uh, first of all, we're going to take a sum of forces in the x direction, which is going to be equal to m times a g of x. Um, yep, yeah, I also forgot to mention at g there's an acceleration um, a g x, and then there's an acceleration in the y a g y. Um, and again, these directions, we're assuming that they're up and to the right. If we get a negative number, it's going to be in the opposite direction. Okay. So AGX um, equals to AX, because that is the only force in the X direction. Okay, um, then we have our sum of forces in the Y direction, which is equal to M times AGY, um, which if we implement this, we get um, AY minus FG is equal to M a, G, Y, like that, more complete. Okay, so these are our two force balances. Then we're gonna move on to a moment balance and we're gonna do a moment balance about the center of gravity G, um, which is equal to I, G, alpha. So if we um, implement this, we get um, on the two forces that create moments are AX and AY. Um, so we're going to get um, AX negative AX because um, it makes everything spin clockwise and our positive direction is counterclockwise um, times 0 0.8 meters. Uh, and that because that is uh, this distance here, which is essentially Y um, and um, Y is uh, 0 0.8 meters. And then we have minus Ay times 0 0.4 meters. And since this, this distance here is 1, um, and this distance here is 0 0.6, the remaining distance between here and here is 0 0.4 meters. It's negative again because it makes it spin clockwise and our positive is counterclockwise. This is equal to Ig alpha. And um, we need to calculate Ig, so I'm just going to do it on the side here. Ig is going to be equal to 
uh, 1 12th uh, times m times l squared, which is um, uh, the length of the plate, times plus uh, the um, width of the plate squared. Um, so this is going to be 1 12th times 5 kilograms uh, times 2 squared uh, plus 1.6 squared because um, this distance here is 1.6 because y is 0 0.8. Okay, and once we solve this, we got that um, Ig is equal to 41 over 15 uh, kilograms meters squared. Okay, so we have Ig. Um, and as we can see, we have three equations, but we have five unknowns. So Ax, Ay, Agx, Agy, and then we have alpha. So we need two more equations, um, but fortunately, um, we can actually um, f add some equations from um, the acceleration equation. So we know the acceleration at point P, and that's going to constrain our system and add the necessary equations to solve um, for all of the unknowns. Okay, since we know the acceleration at point P, um, we can relate the acceleration at point G to point P. Okay, so um, that acceleration equation is the acceleration at G um, is going to be equal to um, the acceleration at P plus alpha cross uh, r of g with respect to p minus omega squared times r of g with respect to p. Okay, now there's no omega initially, so we can actually cancel out this omega term here. We can set this to zero, um, and we're left with that equation there. Um, AP is known, we're given that, that is, um, that's given, um, and we need to solve for um, the remaining terms. Um, so, and we don't know AG, that's what we're trying to find. So we will do the following. We will solve, we will solve for R of G with respect to P and plug everything into the equation. So uh, AG or actually let me plug in AG. So AG is actually AGX in the I hat direction um, plus AGY in the J hat direction. It's going to be equal to AP. And AP is going to be a linear acceleration because P is attached to the cart um, of 2 meters per second squared. Uh, so this is going to be 2 uh, meters per second squared in the i-hat direction, um, in the positive i-hat direction, because um, it is to the right. Okay, um, and then we have alpha cross of cross r, so we don't know alpha, we'll just leave it at that, but we'll give it a direction that is in the k-hat direction, um, and this is going to be cross product to r of g with respect to p. And R of G with respect to P, we, are, we know this, it's going to be 0 0.4 in the I hat direction minus 0 0.8 in the J hat direction. And that's because that radius, um, I'll draw it in orange over here, start goes like that. R of G with respect to P. So we have a negative 0 0.8 component in this direction, that's just Y. Um, and in the x direction, we're give, we need this length here, positive, because it goes to the right, and that's 0 0.4, just like I described before. Um, so we can actually compute this cross product, k with i, and then k with j, negative j, and we can actually solve for two equations, two unknowns, or two equations here. We're going to have the i hat equation and the j hat component equation. So let's simplify that into... Um, one equation and then split it off into two. So we have a, sorry, let me go back to black, a g x in the i hat direction plus a g y in the j hat direction is equal to two meters per second squared in the i hat direction plus 
uh, 0 0.4 alpha in the j hat direction plus 0 0.8 alpha in the i hat direction. Okay, now let's split off the i and j components. Um, so we have a g x um, equals to 2 meters per second squared plus 0 0.8 alpha. And we have a g y is equal to 0 0.8 for alpha. Okay, so given this, uh, let me make this look like a better alpha. Given this, we can now, we have now added two equations and we've added zero unknowns. So we have five equations and five unknowns and we can solve this uh, whole system. So to solve, we get the following equations. And once we solve this system of five equations, five unknowns, we get the following um, answers. So AX is gonna be equal to, uh, X is equal to negative 6.4 Newtons. AY is gonna be equal to 40.8 um, newtons and alpha is equal to negative 4.1 radians per second squared and additionally we can also solve for AGX so AGX that is going to be equal to negative 1.28 uh, meters per second squared and AGY is equal to negative 1.64 meters per second squared. And these are our final answers.